Do you like burning things? Do you like tutorials? Well then this is the video for you guys. Hey guys, welcome to my brand new DIY channel. My name is Maureen, but you can call me Mo. I'm a new DIYer and so kind of bear with me. I'm still practicing and learning and I only started a few weeks ago, so I'm not that great, but I'm, st I'm trying every day. And so this is a vintage old paper, music paper tutorial. For this tutorial, I used coffee, but you can also use soy sauce or tea. And so you can find music sheets at any local music store or the library even, or online, you know, anywhere. And this is just regular paper, but this is not any regular paper. This is from my mom. It's Hero by Mariah Carey, and I have it memorized. And so this was given to me by my mother, and so it means a lot to me. My mom had committed suicide in 2012, and so this is kind of like a priceless sheet music, and I wanted to do something very permanent with it. And so this is a Dollar Tree frame I had painted in my gray chalk paint the night before. And I was just kind of roughing it up. So taking your coffee, you're going to want to cool it off because you don't want it to be too hot. And so I just waited in eh, maybe 15 minutes. I added a little bit of water. I added vanilla extract because we're going to be using the oven and it makes your house smell amazing. This music sheet means so much to me since it was given to me by my mother and I really miss her and so but you could I was just kind of showing right here you could even just frame it like this you don't have to do an old look and so I took a casserole dish and once it was cooled off my coffee I soaked it for about 10 minutes While you're waiting for them to soak you want to preheat your oven to 200 and then you're going to put them in for five or six minutes You want to blot all the excess liquid off, and I ran out of paper towel because of our global pandemic, but use paper towel for this step. And then you're just going to put it in for five or six minutes, and you'll know it's done because it'll crinkle up. This is a before and after comparison. I wanted mine to be light and not super dark, but that was just my personal preference. Disclaimer and a warning, children under 18 should not play with lighters, matches, or fire. But I just burnt the ends and I did this outside so that my smoke alarm would not go off. So I just burnt the ends and blew it out right away. I just love how this looks. A really good tip to flatten this is to use a book. This is a really cute DIY idea. You could roll them up and just wrap it with Dollar Tree twine. And it's really cute. I love this. But before I went to the doctors, I had to see what it looked like inside my piano room and it made me so excited to hurry up and get this over with and then get home to finish my DIYs. I had never been so scared in my life to be in a doctor's office and this old woman came out and started coughing. I was literally hiding in a corner. I didn't even want to sit down. It was crazy. All right, on to the DIYs. So I just took my music sheet and hot glued it around a candle. That was it, super simple, beautiful, and I love this. I can't wait to play some Chopin and some Rachmaninoff in my piano room while this is glowing in the background.
such a beautiful DIY, such a beautiful idea. So if you like this, then smash that like button for me. Also subscribe, because I have hundreds of ideas in my head floating around that I'm going to be doing in the next month or two. This next idea was super simple, same concept. I just took my Dollar Tree frame and the board and hot glued it all together. This is so stunning. I can't even believe how much I love this. This is probably my favorite DIY I've done so far. This next idea is really awesome. And oh, before we do that right there, I was showing you what it looks like when the papers are wrinkled and when they're not wrinkled. I kind of prefer them not wrinkled. And so I had this from my farmhouse haul and I wanted to make something that I could use all year round. So all I did was put six dots of hot glue on here and glued on my sheet music. And now it's perfect for my piano room. I absolutely love this. This was so easy, so fun and beautiful. This is what they all look like when they're done, and they turned out stunning, beautiful, farmhouse, bohemian, very musical, and special because they're from my mother, and I just love them. These could go anywhere. You don't have to have a piano or a piano room to do these type of DIYs. They're just really fun. And so I just wanna say thank you so much for watching my super simple and easy DIYs, and yeah, thank you so much. If you like this video, smash that like button, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.